So this chart could save your life. If you do any kind of off the airport operations like bush flying, float planes, anything of that sort, or you go to runways you haven't been to before, this chart can make a big difference. So we're going to take you up today in the Carbon Cub. Obviously, we're going to do some float flying. So we're going to go up, show you how we use this chart. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to take a minute and walk you through this chart right here and basically it's my ability to measure as I'm flying a landing spot I mean if you're out in the bush country or water flying and especially if I'm going to somewhere I've never been before if I'm looking at a water landing here and I've never been to this location so even looking at Google Maps you can measure it out and stuff but you never know until you do your reconnaissance flights and check out the area it could be half uh, it could be water or logs under the water, it could be half land, half water, but you couldn't tell that from Google Maps, or it could have been a certain time of year, it looks like there's water there, but when you show up, there's not a water, water there. You know, we've had these things all the time. So this chart that is available from the FAA guides of uh, off-airport operations, which you definitely want to check out, gives me the ability to dial in my speed, and then I have my timer set up here in front of me on my Garmin 3GX that you'll see, and we'll pull that up so you can all see it here, and my timer's reset. And I'm going to get my speed on my recon pass to 61 knots. And then I'm going to start my timer. And then at 61 knots, depending on how many seconds you go from your LVR, or in this case, be my touchdown spot, to where my out is going to be, that's where I'll measure. And that'll tell me how many feet that that particular spot is. So we're going to do that. And I'm coming up right now on the location. It's a place I've never been to. Uh, there's boats there, things like that. But we're going to uh, first do our pass at 1,000 feet and go watch our other videos. We do a whole video on, you know, float plane landing and how we do our recons. I actually do three levels of recon passes. I know that, you know, typically for float planes it's two. And if it's somewhere I've been before, I'll do the two just to clear the area. But if I've never been there before, I'm usually doing three. I do it almost like bush plane flying where I'll do my high level recons first and I'm looking at the surrounding areas, could be mountains, where's my out, which way am I going, looking at the smoke, checking everything out, making sure there's no power lines, things like that. So my high level recon is just really getting a, a big 360 and a little bit more situational awareness of everything going on out here, traffic, things like that. Then I'll drop down to my 750 and my 750 I'll do a little bit more and I'm really looking at the landing site. Are there logs in there? What's, what's going on for boats? Is there a lot of activity? Um, you know, which wind direction is going? Things like that. All the stuff that they teach you in uh, float plane landing. And then I'll do my low level. My low level is really looking right at the actual landing spot, and I want to see. And, you know, if we're doing bush plane, are there rocks? Are there logs? Things like that. In this case, I'm doing the same thing. Is there any logs underneath the water? In my area, are there are coconuts in the water. Whatever it may be, that's my low level pass, and I'm really focusing on where I'm going to be landing, checking out my LVR, checking out my touchdown spot, and getting a feel for it. So that's a whole different video that we did that you can look at. But this one is, we're going to get down there, and we are going to check out our how much length we have here to land. So I already did my high level, and I already know which way the wind is going. I also have it on my, my uh, dash here where I got my wind is out of the northeast. I'm verifying it on the water. You can see on the water there, the wind is definitely coming from the northeast. I can see the streets. It's calm on that side. There are power lines on both sides of this, so I can tell you right now that we're probably not going to land here. I can tell you that for sure, or at least in the spot I'm looking at. We also have another lake over here on the left that we can certainly land at. But uh, I see power lines everywhere there, so that's not a good thing. But I'm going to uh, come back around. I'm going to set my timer, and I'm going to find my touchdown spot. So I got my LVR, I got my touchdown spot, and then I'm going to time it and see how long that is, uh, especially because there's poles with power lines on the end of this area. So. Let's drop down to my second level recon, get our timer set here, which uh, we've got our timer up, telling me to change my fuel tanks, so we'll do that, power fuel pump on, we're 
we're good. Fuel changed. Holding the finger on there for a minute. Okay, we're good. Fuel pump off. We're set. Okay, so I'm set to check out the location and there's no boats. Other than power lines, there's no other obstacles. We verified the wind. I'm down at my low, my mid-level right now. So uh, we got a timer set, reset. We're gonna come around here in a second. And to the south side of this particular location, I'm gonna measure what this looks like. All right, let's get our speed set in. So you usually got to do this a little bit further out from where you're actually going to get your speed set. So let's get that. We're going to come on one notch of flap. All right, so this is my second pass. Getting our speed down. Get our mixture in in case we got to go around. Prop is good. Okay, so the timer is ready. Gear up for water landing. Giving us a gear up for indicator water here, landing. which is supposed to happen. That's great about this carbon cub. Okay, so we got our speed set. 500. We're coming to our LVR. All right, so the speed is perfect there. We got our LVR coming up here. And I'm gonna hit the timer in a second, so we're getting right to our spot. There is our touchdown spot, we start the timer. Speed is good, speed is good. Still going, now you got a, at least a 50 foot obstacle here on the end, so I gotta be off the water right about here, we'll say. Okay, so that's about as safe as I want it to be. So we know we got 16 seconds, which is, I stopped it way conservative. So if we look at our chart now, at 16 seconds, we're looking at about 1,420 feet, which to this point is, is plenty. So that gives you a little feel on how to use this chart. Um, pretty cool, you can go to the off-airport operations for the FAA, use their guide. And uh, that chart is in there. And then I just keep in the plane here for situations like this where I've never been there. I want to double check. I want to triple check. Sometimes I do it in both of my uh, passes or three of my passes. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.